fat to that end, how the slide is doing. Need a bit of defrosting. Convict, thank you very, very much indeed. I will be sure to reciprocate in kind this week whilst I'm at the day job. I will keep an eye out for you. In fact, send me a direct message if you're ever on and you need support. And I'll leave my, even if I'm busy working, I shall, I shall be there to do in kind. Thank you, thank you very, very much indeed. And I hope you're well. Or otherwise, here is some Korean milk red that's about to be finished. We're nearly there. Three part stream today. Um, Getting closer and closer and closer. But it's massively appreciated. Thank you ever so much. Well, I, I think you're an absolute star. I, I know others. I, I particularly like chatting to the people from there because it's not all shouting about follow for follow and things. People actually come in and say hello, like you're doing now, and, uh, and help people out. And I think it's marvellous. So, a genuine thank you very much, and I'll be sure to come and do the same. Do you stream? You can tell me a bit about it. What, what do you stream, and when do you stream? What sort of things do you do? Just waiting for our uh, those that have been baking along with us today to join us. And then we're going to finish off, finish strong. We've had lots of people in here who've done things varying from, you know, we've had Pac-Man, we've had Valorant, we've had, we've had all sorts, really. And I've got on my shoulder, this was brought to cheer me up on one particularly diff difficult week in the working week, Mrs. Owl got me my first ever piece of merchandise. Uh, holding it upside down, that doesn't help. <laughs> my very own personalised tea towel, I absolutely love it. So you're live tonight from 7.30 and you stream Call of Duty. Ah, very good, very good. And The Last of Us this week. I shall be sure to come and assist. I, I have tried playing Warzone. Um, to say I was ineffectual might be being kind. Um, I once delighted at the fact I'd found a rocket launcher before uh, someone hit me with a pack. Don't apologise, NWKB and Julia. Don't worry, I'm just getting things warmed up and ready for you. Um, because you, your, yours actually did very... It must have warmed up in your house, I think, because it, it leapt forward. So, here we are. We are at the end, guys. You, you've been here throughout the marathon stream. Um, I hope hand on heart that it was worth it and I hope at the end you like what we've made um, does it look a bit like this guys is that about where we are sort of up to the top filling in most of the cracks also we've got convict here who's um, who's very kindly just sitting in to help out with viewership so again a big thank you to him um, NWKB is in a team that streams um, Apex I think I've got that right. Um, he says I'm demonstrating a serious lack of knowledge. <laughs> close, close enough, you think. Right, I tell you what, give it a few more minutes. I will show you, before you do this, um, what it is we're doing next. I haven't got a... <laughs> you know, it's funny you should say that, Covet. We've got two more going on in the background. Um, Apex is right. Good. Marvellous, I got it right. I haven't got a brush to do the top of the the two loaves uh, that are now one. So what we're going to do is just brush it with milk. Now, let me just get a little... 
Um, should clean this again in a moment. So, it's again, hopefully guys, you're proud of what you've done because you've also done it with no equipment whatsoever. Um, do you think we should get that convict? Maybe the made it before decaffeinated owl badge. And here's one I made earlier, just deploy. Just grab a teaspoon, pour your milk into a receptacle, and just, you wanna just brush lightly on the top. It's gonna to give it a really nice, nice coloring. So, splash a little bit on. Doesn't matter, it runs down into the cracks just a little bit. So that's our first loaf. And here's loaf number two. Gently does it. So we were just chatting, um, uh, guys, before we got here. Convict is more, he's just a call of duty and he's going to be doing The Last of Us during this week. So I was just uh, regaling with the fact that my, perhaps my first person shooting is not in the league of those that watch us. Um, so kindly. Perhaps more akin to this is how you don't do it. Um, <laughs> there we go. Are you, did I see right on Instagram, uh, Nathan a NWKB, you're on tonight with your team, is that right? So there we go, not too much needed, just a little glazing on the top. And guys, don't rush it, give it a few more minutes, uh, and when you're ready, glaze lightly, and then we're into our preheated oven. Handle it gently at this point, if you can, because it's quite light and brioche-esque, so any bumps might try and risk it collapsing down again. Uh, and for this, we then want to put it in for, I said this earlier, didn't I, how long? Are we putting it in for um, 30 to, no, that's wrong, 35 to 36 minutes. Um, so I'm actually am at 6.46 timing something else, so I'm going to put it on for another 30 minutes. Hello, Sammy Sam, how are you? Is it morning where you are? We are, where are we? We're in the evening, aren't we, Mrs. Al? Yeah. We're ju just around, it's been, has it been about four hours worth of streaming? Yeah. Back to back? Sammy, good of you to join us. Thank you very much. We've got Convict here and NWKB. NWKB has been baking along with us throughout the day. Um, and I hope you, Sammy, have been having a lovely weekend and I hope you have too, Convict. Um, what game we are to play. Um, what we tend to play, Convict, is... And I do actually, if people have suggestions, I happily take them. At the moment, we're quite enjoying A Tale of Two Brothers. And I'm actually doing the commentary for it because none of us can work out what's going on. Um, we've got o Overcooked, and there's going to be Overcooked 2. Um, I, I pot in occasionally, potter around in first-person shooters. Um, 905 where you are. Gosh, um, it's, the morning seems a long time away for us. It seems like a very busy day it's been. <laughs> oh, oh, the voting thing. Oh, marvellous. What have you voted for, um, Convict? Um, I'm on the phone in the kitchen at the moment, see, so I can't actually see a great deal of, uh, of what's going on. Um, so, and as well, just let me know, um, NWKB, uh, uh, if we're doing all right. How are we getting along? Oh, the police game. Um, yes, milk. So get your milk, baste it over the top. When you're happy, 35 to 36 minutes, somewhere around that. Um, bearing in mind, it will cook for another 10 minutes once you've taken it out, because you'll take it out and you'll put it in the tin on our, well, if you don't have, sorry, pardon my bad back for a second. Oops, that's easy. <sighs> we haven't actually got a, a wire mesh to keep the bread on. So we'll be putting it on a trivet. And that all that means is you put the tray straight onto the top. And then after 10 minutes, you're going to take the bread out gently and put it onto anything that you've got that can let it air underneath. Because if you leave it just in the base, what will happen is that it'll get condensation and you'll end up with that, um, to quote the great British Bake Off, a terribly soggy bottom, um, which we don't want. So lift it out, pop it onto either your wire rack or anything that's got a couple of holes in it. Um, anything, even from the oven will do actually, if you, pr provided it's not scalding hot already, just any kind of wire rack. Uh, yes, yeah, there'll definitely be some more of a, this is the police convict uh, at some point. It's, it's a good fun game. Um, it's a bit slow in places. Um, 
but uh, actually, I can see PG. I actually can't see the chat clearly enough, I don't know. Something PG? Getting glasses. <laughs> the bread is in the oven. Are you we, I am. Mrs. Al's just checking that I don't forget. I have been forgetting key and crucial bits and pieces as we've been going on. Because that one had six minutes to go when I put that one in. So as soon as that beeps, that gets 30 minutes. That one gets 30 minutes, then that one comes out. And I work with that one. You should be using two separate I should, but it just happened to coincide very nicely. Um, so, yes, I mean, I think what we'll do, um, you try to, oh, I'm sorry, convict. <laughs> The, the reason is, is I'm, I'm down in the kitchen. Um, you're in the oven. I'm, I am genuinely very excited to see how it goes, guys. Um, I, I really am. Actually, I've got two minutes. Let's make up. Yes, I, and don't worry, I'll actually send you some typed instructions. So 35 minutes, 36 maybe. Um, then take it out. And for 10 minutes, you can just leave it on any heat proof surface. Just leave it be for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take it out. Oops. Don't make loud clattering noises when you're trying to stream. Um, either get a wire mesh rack or anything like this which has got holes in. Take the bread out carefully. It should just lift out. If you take one mitt, turn it, and then just wriggle gently, it should come out, and then gently down. And then I'm afraid the hardest bit you have to wait for an hour. Can I suggest, because you've got the extra sugar and the cinnamon, go for the 36 minutes rather than 35. Just give it that little extra time. Um, and with a full hour, it should then be, once you've cut through it, you won't have any underproved uh, dough at the base of it. Um, I, I'm certainly going to do that for, for an hour. And for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, just because I wouldn't want you to, to go to all this length and then have... Um, you know, a soggy pastry. Uh, as I said, the worst thing in the world could be if you do this and it doesn't work, and then I'll be like, oh no, I've had them baking all afternoon and it <laughs> hasn't worked. Um, as well, having said that this is a bomb-proof, foolproof recipe, the only problem is the only fool in the equation is the one giving you the instructions. Um, <laughs> so, yes, the only, the only risk is, is right here. <laughs> um, I, I tell you what, if it genuinely was, Serious note, if it was genuinely underproved at the base and it was sort of inedible, there will be a point you'll see where actually, if you, would, if you really wanted to, you could cut a slice and then just nip off the bottom where it's raw. I really don't think it will be, though. Um, in fact, I've got 50 seconds until we... Oh. Yes. Out yeah. If no one heard that, Mrs. Al made a very vital observation. One thing you can do to test the bread, in fact, the recipe, strictly speaking, says use a toothpick, yes. put it in, and take it out to see if anything comes off it. And the reason it says toothpick, not knife, is because it's so light, and there is that risk that you could actually just make it collapse before it's ready. The same reason that you don't cut into it. Um, uh, hello, Falama. Thanks for joining us again. And thanks for letting us come and um, stop by your stream. It was marvellously relaxing as I was kneading again for the second time. Um, oh, and there we are. Right, so that one now needs to stop beeping at me and give me half an hour. Um, do you want me to go and get the other one? Or would you mind? Or do you want to take that out first? No, 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 that one still needs 30 minutes. Oh, then we okay. need that one. Um, yes, if you've got a toothpick, um, go for that. Uh, because if, if, if it comes out clean, um, you know you know that it's fine. Um, uh, no, it was. I, I must admit, I'm, I might indeed go and explore it for long. It's very relaxed. I liked it. Um, I liked it a lot. And here we are. They so, don't seem any different, are they meant to? Um, now, for those of you who are interested at all in trying this, what we were looking for is for them to increase in size. I think they could do with five minutes more, actually. It might be that it's getting cooler over there by the window. Well, also these. No, the, 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 this is fresh. I did these two fresh well, after you, you said. You last didn't time. seal them very well. 
You made it. Hello. I love saying this. Hello, sexy chicken. <laughs> I love saying that. How are you, sexy? Are you well? Um, I do you think? I don't know. What do you, um, I just want to eat bread. You want to eat bread? <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's been all day. Um, Chicken is here. Oh, I, I love that. Um, I think... Can we put that one back for five minutes? This one looks all right. Okay, here we go, folks. So this is taking it a step back from where we were because this is the second batch I've been making. In fact, Mrs. Al has been very smart here and realised that the hotter place is now nearer the oven. So we're going to... Is there anywhere nearby we can put it? Just on the windowsill. On the windowsill. So, here we go, folks. This is what NWKB and we and others have been up to today. This is the third proof, I think. Possibly? No. What, the third? What, it's the second of these? The second ones. of these proofs. So, let me so just it's angle the fifth it proof overall. This is the, the fifth it's proof of the day. It's going in for the sixth proof. This has been a busy kitchen today. Sorry. So, if anyone's ever interested in just a baking tip, what we want is a nicely uh, floured uh, rolling pin. What's in here? Uh, that's our dinner. I've already started defrosting it. Uh, so much baking, I know, I know. Oh, and se Sexy's just had a ramen. Oh, nice. Yeah, M Mrs. Al looked at me there so slightly, I could see the look going, I want a ramen. <laughs> Give me burgers. So, a not, a not even a packet one, very good. So, we are just gently, in fact, if I do it this way, the camera. Do you want me to get the massive bag of flour out, out of the way. way. That's very kind of you, thank you. <laughs> so all I'm doing here is rolling along. I'm not even applying force down. I'm just letting the rolling pin do all the work. In case anyone says, I fancy a spot of baking, as opposed to poor Mrs. Al that either wants dinner or a, a spot of bread or anything at all. Um, any food. Any food. Do you want some of the other bread that I've made? I have a peppermint tea. Have a peppermint tea. Oh, sorry, Sexy. Yeah, um, because I'm down in the kitchen, um, uh, Sexy, um, it's none of the links are lurking because I'm uh, working, I'm on my phone, but they are all in our little profile page um, if you want any of the, uh, the social media that we've got. So this part of the process just requires a 12-inch width and a 5-inch depth. Approximately. Is this now when you're going to cover it? In? You haven't made any cinnamon sugar. No, I'm going to do that now. Okay. What sugar do you want for it? Can I have uh, coconut? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I need to. I need to fix that. Um, I don't know how to because I come from the 1800s, quite frankly, and I'm still somewhat staggered that we've managed to pull this off, given that our normal fare is a pen and paper. Um, I got a bowl for you. And a bowl. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. Now we are going to dry. Go. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid we are. I mean, I'm. Uh, child of the 1800s apparently so I'm um, going to try just two two tablespoons of coconut sugar because that's what we've got in oh hey, someone asked if I know which of the language uh, oh give him a sound like try to nah. learn aren't we? we are trying to learn <laughs> it's a tough language though isn't it? well you Falama you, do you know much Korean I want to learn. Yeah, you really do. We want to go, to be honest. Yeah, um, we want to go to Korea. Um, love a trip, though. Um, well, so, I only know how to say hello, and I don't want to offend go people on. and butcher the language. G give it a go. Go <laughs> oh, on. I'm too shy. Are you too shy? Shall I do it? Yeah, you do it. Is this right, uh, Falama? And Yang say oh? No. No? Don't say it's so English, so, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just said it from the 1800s, and okay, I'm, I'm British. Okay. I mean... Well, yeah. How do you say it then? No, I'm not 
<laughs> Baby, she's all shy. Is it and Yang is that it? Someone's already happy trying to uh, do Dutch. It's right. Hey, there we go. Um, uh, yes, well, we, we do try our... Yes, I know, so English. We do try that thing where we go, when we go on holiday, we really try our hardest to learn the local language. And to, yeah. my, to my sadness, there was an occasion, I think a little bit more, just a tad more, a very English version of it. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to work on that. Um, we went to uh, Italy at one point and I was confidently trying to order um, on an evening where we were in a uh, hotel and there was no food on site so we went off site and I went to go and uh, went to go and order and I was in the process of ordering it and the chap said it, it, it's okay I speak English um, you can just order in English in that kind of note that said please stop destroying my language <laughs> after watching Hamilton I'm convinced King George was a pretty damn good king <laughs> Wife and I hope to have a Korean language learning channel on YouTube at some point. Ooh. You will find it there, um, and then some for Arma. I, I would be delighted um, uh, to, to see that. I really would. So what we're doing here, folks, is a variation of the plain Korean milk bread. I'm just doing a light. Light? Why, is it, why light? Because the taste of the brioche is quite light, and I don't want to overpower oh, it too the, much. The cinnamon. All right, go okay. Oh, sweet um, yeah, Ab Falama, if you ever do that, please shout it from the rooftops, because that's exactly the sort of thing that I would be looking for, um, looking to go and work. Here we are, right, folks. So. You may as well use it all, I feel. You want me to use it all and then make oh, a... Because no, there's could two. Fold and then, oh, yeah, I forgot that there's, there's two. There's two, yeah. You could fold and then, you know, when you roll, put some more. Yeah, would absolutely. That, would that no. not work? Let's, let's try it. What the heck? This is the second of the two today, so let's just... So we're going to fold there to one side. Would you mind, my love? Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm cluttering my own... Um, let's see. Koreans do meat very well. That I have seen uh, with yeah, the um, with the K barbecues. Yes, as Mrs. Al said. Hello, Torres. Welcome back. We are at the end now. We're at the end game. We will soon have. In fact, let's just do a little bit of a. How does that man do it with the salt and the meat? Hang. On. Sammy, thank you for following us and, and staying. It, it, you, you're more than welcome. A pleasure to have you. I hope you enjoy our stuff. Um, look forward to having you here all the more often. So far, we just have the name of the channel and no video recorded, uh, and one video recorded but not edited. Please do, Flavi, in all seriousness. Now, Mrs. Al thinks I may have rolled it wrong this time, so you think I needed to go from that way that yeah. way. Right, let's try it. Um, do you know, share, share it anyway to us, Flavi. Let us have a look at it. So you can, you can, if you're not publishing massively at the moment, you could always just send it to me quietly in a, in a whisper or something. Do you want me to sprinkle in the rolls? Oh no, actually, no? I don't think it'll work on okay. it. But I think this all have like it more. Okay. So, because I'm. Oh, do you want me to get the tin? Oh, it's here. It's there. Um, is it buttered? It is not buttered, actually. If uh, if you wouldn't mind. I'm do I need oh. more? Yes. Have we ever made noodles by hands, um, like the Japanese? Haven't, but. Um, no, I've seen a video of that. Though. Does it look it good? It looks so cool. I can't remember what I saw it on. It would have been on YouTube, but it looks so amazing, the process. I would be delighted to do that and making pasta live as well. Like you stretch so, them on. and then, like there's lots of stretching is what I remember. Hang on, I can do lots of stretching, hang on. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. So funny. <sighs> That's not what William meant. <laughs> Sorry. Is that okay? That's perfect, thank you. Um, so we're gonna fold it again. Yeah. Okay, so fold on end. Oh, it looks good. Whoop. And then, whoop. There's a little bit, but he can be in the next batch. And then, whoops, a daisy. Deposit in the end, like so. I'm just gonna roll it towards the end of the tin. This can go away now, right? Uh, yeah, we're done now with the butter. Those are amazing, require talent and experience. Taurus, I have neither of those things, but I will happily barrel in face first into the experience. Um, that, that has pretty much been my plan in life since I emerged from the 1800s. Um, we, had, we had still some of a butterloaf. Did we? Why are we using that? I missed it. 
Hello Juggernaut, thank you very much for coming. Your support is massively appreciated. Welcome to the kitchen. This is now four hours into what has been a marathon baking session. Oh, I think, um, is oh. he any different now? He is, he's ready. Okay. Yeah. Um, NWKB has hung in there and has, has produced this alongside us uh, for the first time ever and has done a marvellous job. Um, I'm just currently doing a second derivation and version of it um, with cinnamon and sugar. And this is our second, third attempt at making Korean yeah. milk bread. And we've got Falama here who is currently contemplating making a YouTube channel teaching people how to speak Korean. Uh, which I'd be fascinated to uh, to watch and see. And I wish him all, of course, the very best from all of us in that. Um, um, you have talent, but don't have experience making these noodles. Um, I think you're generous, perhaps, in saying that even the talent's there, Taurus. <laughs> blind luck might be closer to the mark. Uh, right, so, as ever, we're going to just flour our rolling pin. And it's not at all suggestive, twitch sensors, it's just a rolling pin. Um, Do you want me to you the uh, I, I, Yeah, I had enough, I think. So again, just going to gently, gently work it along, not applying any pressure. Did you know that you're still playing the music? I do, yes. I just thought people, oh, actually, I might need some flour. It's a bit sticky. Okay. Um, Thank you, thank you. You've got dough on the floor. I've got, do I've got dough on my foot again. Um, I feel on like I do. Um, no. Right, so... Is that enough? Yeah. And uh, if anyone is interested in baking, be it milk bread or not, just be careful with the amount of flour that you use, because the more that you use at this stage, uh, the tougher you might make your bread. Um, and if we ever do another of these, although I think... It's, um, yes, it's certainly a long process. And again, what's the white liquid milk? Oh, here. Um, that was for basting the milk bread. Um, before it went in before the oven. Before it went in the oven. The, the, the other batch that we've done. And I'd completely forgotten to put it away. Um, so here we go. Are you going to put that bit in? Yes, what my not? There's a piece of dough that looked lonely, so we shall roll him into the rest of the mix. There we go. And how's your weekend been, Taurus? Have you been well? All good with you? There we go. Whoops, a daisy, losing just a little bit. Lewis! Hello, Lewis! Well, if you ever fancy trying it, I will save all of these videos to our YouTube uh, channel. Uh, so if you ever want just to have it on in the background as a sort of, as an aid memoir. And then put and, the recipe on Discord. And the recipe will be on our Discord channel as well. So if you ever fancy trying it, and also full credit to the person that made, who's the name? Kim Chi Marie. Kim Chi Marie made the recipe that I'm following. I haven't devised this, so all credit to her. Thank you very much to her, although she'll never watch this or know of it. <laughs> but still, we must credit those who do good works. So thank you, thank you. So we haven't got enough sugar on. Uh, oh, the dough is very sticky indeed, for Lama. It's um, quite hard to work. This is this is Al jumping in here with the uh, coconut. Enough? Yeah, I think so. What have I done with the cinnamon? There it is. So just going to eyeball it for this one, just a little bit. What is that? It? Yeah. Way more cinnamon. Just hang on. I'll let you smell it first. Wait a well, smell doesn't indicate taste. Mmm, smells nice. Smells nice. Do you want a bit more? I don't know, taste it. You said that you taste tested and you haven't taste tested any of it. Mm, that could actually do. Ooh, uh, mm. Ooh I suddenly got a massive hit of cinnamon. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this second half of the loaf may be terribly cinnamony. That's okay. Took it there on. There we go. I shall spread gently. Oops, no, no, I didn't. I threw it. Oops. Threw it. It's fine. It's going to be delicious. And. That boy, that boy Rockless, thank you for, thank you for joining us. Uh, most, most appreciated. Welcome, welcome. I hope you like seeing our stuff. I hope you like what we do. Um, so, here we go. Last of the two loaves. So just, oops, a daisy. I will apparently throw the camera everywhere. So here we go. Let's try this again. So a little fold from the end of about 
three inches, so one and a half lying on one and a half. If there's any left, just pack that on top. In fact, that can now go into the dishwasher. Easy. And then we're going to just roll from the base using what we've got here is, is a, a essentially a dough blade. Um, but you can just use any sharp knife that you've got. You're going to su surpass Elton Musk before 2025. You will take us to Mars and beyond. Someone maybe can even rename Pluto and decide, um, you like the apron? I tell you what, you'll like this even more, Lewis. I got this, Mrs. Al was very kind. I was having a terribly difficult week. So she bought for me my very own branded tea towel. <laughs> You don't even use. And I like it so much. I, I keep it on my shoulder um, <laughs> just for my enjoyment. Um, yeah. Okay, last fold, fold on top of itself. Quick gentle lift into our tin. I know, she's um, she's an absolute angel. She's a star, aren't you? No. Yes, you are. Um, so there we go. That is our cinnamon uh, take on Korean milk bread Which and now that needs to prove again for another what was it, 30, 30, 40? 30 to 40 minutes so mm -hmm. we're just going to cover that in cling film many hands making light work there we go How are we doing? Uh, even I've got dough on me now how did that happen I don't know how did you get dough on I don't know Okay. Do you want okay. me to take it? Or should I just leave it by the oven for now? Because yeah, actually, yeah, it's quite warm. Do you want to? Yeah. And we've got another twelve minutes to go, and we'll actually have the other milk bread. Um, How's it looking? Oh, ooh, it looks oh. so good. Folks, do we want um, a little uh, oven side view? How about that? Your loaf smells a bit. Right, I tell you what. You know what? Everyone's getting excited now. I'm going to join in. Hang on. Here we go. A little beard view there, breaking the anonymity seal. I'm going to open the door just to. Mm -hmm. Can we see? Oven's a little bit dirty. <laughs> there we are. Ringside oven work. Rising nicely. In fact, I do think I opened it last time just to turn it around slightly, but I'll okay, just leave then. it. I'll just leave it be. If you want to open it, open it then. There we go. Thank oh, forget about. F forget. Forget it about. Forget it about. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Very, very, very welcome indeed. Nice beard. Thank you, Lewis. Um, I'm trying to keep a veil of anonymity, um, but uh, the beard has slept in. So, um, uh, ooh, and oh, the guys went even further. They, uh, yeah, MI6 are going to come for me. You saw an eye as well. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Everyone here must now be sworn to secrecy. Where is the official secret at? Um, <laughs> I'm slowly emerging like Frankenstein's monster. Um, <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, yes, my, my thin veil of anonymity is cracking. It completely cracked. Um, oh, thank you very much, Lewis, you, you star. The only thing we can tell anyone is the fool has a beard and came from the 1800s. Admittedly, that doesn't narrow it down a great deal, does it? You need to find a time traveller with a beard. And time travellers are fairly easy to spot, um, I think as a whole. Or they're just a bit bonkers. Um, <laughs> so, tell... We, Need to give him a name. <laughs> Oops. Um, yes, funnily enough, it was my, my good friend, RC and KP, who sometimes drop in. He's my oldest friend. I, I, proud, I said to him, now, in no uncertain terms, KP, um, when, we, when we're playing this game, um, yeah, your name is Gerald. Gerald! I like Gerald. <laughs> so, um, I told him in no uncertain terms, for goodness sake, don't shout my name out um, as we're playing joins the Discord channel, and the first thing he does is roar my name out as loudly as possible, and then act surprised, and I say, what the heck are you doing? Oh, sorry, and indeed, NWKB has it. I am now named Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a Frank. Ah. Fra oh, Gerald and Jennifer. You're a Jennifer now. This is always Jennifer. Je <laughs> we can make up now. And I'm, I'm, I'm Frank, I like it. Is, is this like the Punisher? You know, he's a, he's a tough fellow. And I, I think the fact I use the word fellow actually kind of rules me out of that one. 
as being tough. As yeah. tough, um, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that I'm baking Korean milk bread and <laughs> chuckling to myself. I think tough is not in the equation. Um, Gary and Linda. <laughs> I don't think you sound like a Gary. I don't no. know what a Gary sounds like, but... What, what is it? I think Fry and Leela, like from Futurama. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> I remember the... Th- oh, I've not watched that forever. I can remember the music. Dum, 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 dum. Copyright dum, strike. Dum, dum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whole video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what? I should have thought of that as I did the ringside uh, view. Um, but I'm not ginger. Well, there is some in my beard, funnily enough. Um the, Mrs. Owl is pining for the bread. <laughs> but it's, you're going to have to wait another hour and ten minutes. I oh know, it's literally torture. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, Fulama's pointed out, Fry was indeed a time traveller. Oh, yeah. I, you can't see it on the camera, but I'm now stroking my beard in a thoughtful way uh, that says you may be on. I something. think I'm, like, closer to Zoidberg. <laughs> <laughs> It may not... Mrs. L does not have a high opinion of herself, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I can enforce it. Zoidberg! With the, the, the claws. Um, oh, I love that show. Um, I'm guessing Jennifer doesn't have one eye and purple hair. <laughs> no. You, you did used to have red hair. I did used to have red hair. Dyed red hair. No, not purple, though. But I should probably... We never know. We haven't seen again. Yeah, oh, I tell you what, I, I'm coming off camera. You can see what you think. Mrs. Al, no, no, I'm not. Don't, You're no. wearing your nice Korean apron, though. No. No, you shy. Yeah. I made you shy. Yeah. Don't put me on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry. It's quite, that's fair. I shouldn't put you on the spot. What I will do, however, is before we finish up, I was going to say, what clues can we give you? Zoidberg is a fun character. It's the, the fun side of Mrs. Al. I tell you what, it's. um. The red dye is difficult to get out. Did you find that? Oh yeah, it's like you can't you can't get rid of red dye once it's in your hair. That's why I had to. Do you grow have to just grow it out? You have to grow it out, yeah. Like even if you dye over it, that dye will start to fade out, and then you're left with the red still. It's the worst. Okay, Falama says, "Come say that's come out as Korean characters." I don't. How do I pronounce it phonetically? Do we have any animals? We don't, but we'd really like a pair of dogs. Yeah, um, we would like dogs. Unfortunately, with... I don't know if it's just the situation in the UK with uh, COVID, and I hope everyone, by the way, is well in that regard and doing well and keeping safe. Um, oh, that's what oh, we said that, earlier. That's, that's how you spell it. That's Anyanga say, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, because remember when I was trying to learn how to read it, so then each, ca- each little section has three separate characters... Right. Okay. It's really confusing. But it's a beautifully sounding language. Um, yeah, I, I, it sounds so happy, I think. Yeah, it's a very happy kind of language. Um, yeah, I can't. I, that's why I need to learn. I need to re- learn to read it. So at least if we went to Korea and we didn't really know how to sp- speak it very well, we'd at least understand what the signs say. Well, well I could say it in a terribly British voice, uh, and then they go, <laughs> please stop destroying our national language. Yeah, each section is its own sound. Yeah, it's, it's so... Oh, does anyone here speak Dutch? Lewis, no, you know uh, what's about to happen. I tried to speak not. Dutch last time and that went horribly wrong. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. What? So Someone even spelt it out for me in the scream. And, uh, scream? On the street. Um, and I mispronounced it appallingly, um, apparently. Um, oh, NWKB's got a, an interesting uh, question. You should um, watch. If you could name yourself from a couple character, who would you be from a film or a game? A couple character? Yeah. From a film or a game? Well, if I'm from the 1800s, it would probably be Pride and Prejudice, We could it? be, what, Elizabeth <laughs> and Darcy? Yeah, I don't think I have quite the, the, the jawline for that, if, if I'm entirely honest. Um, if you like Korean, you should watch... Oh, I, I've i watched that. Mrs. Owl hasn't. It's... I'm so over-zombied. You, 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 like, I've over-zombied I'm, you, I'm so I? zombied out. You're zombied out. Too much brain-eating. Yeah. But then again, we are watching ER at the moment, which is... In effect, just no, occasionally it's... opening people up. No one's come back from the dead, though. Yeah, exactly. How are we do? Oh, four minutes, guys, and we can show you. We can show you all what it looks like. I'll A medieval and... zombie series. Yes, it's set in um, medieval um, Korea. It's very well Maybe done. Maybe if you'd actually said that to me, I might have been more interesting. I will happily. <laughs> 
Sorry, sexy. It's going to be a long four minutes, um, and it's going to be a very long <laughs> hour and ten minutes whilst it cools. You have no idea. Um, shall I introduce it to you this evening? Do you want to have a look? Sure. We'll show you. Uh, yeah, the I must admit the um, the costumes and the filming of it was just. It's certain bits of it were beautiful. I mean, so obviously it's obviously less so when someone runs forwards and tries to eat your head. Um, but the actual camera work, I thought, was spectacular. Mm. Um, I don't know if anyone ever... It's an old film now, but Hero, where Jet Li played the main character. Again, lovely cinematography, beautiful soundtrack. Um, it is full on, I'd agree, very much different from your normal um, standard zombie, oh dear, here they come, oh dear, run away kind of thing. Um, the, the 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 politics I think the of the time wonderfully interspersed. Um, I've clearly missold it to Mrs. L, so I shall have to possibly I didn't show even you this know there was a, like a Korean one. I probably would have been. Yes, completely agree. Um, uh, NWKB and I know Julia there as well. It's that lack of Americanization, I suppose, about it. It's. I don't know. I, I personally, I, I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, I think the second season came out, and I ended up sort of quietly binge watching it. I think at various opportunities, um, uh, and it, <laughs> it's a good thing we're here. Then we'll sell it to you, Mrs. Out. You see, I think we've got her. I think she's convinced. Yeah. Are you convinced? Yeah. If it's Korean, I'm usually sold. Eh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, that, that's a fair observation. Uh, the accuracy, uh, full armor, maybe you can tell us. Lewis, no, absolutely, uh, we will do. Um, if you want to come and see, um, we'll save all the videos if we've finished by then. But thank you for dropping in, massively appreciated. We'll see you again soon, uh, I'm very sure. And we'll see you doing your stuff too. Guys, the longest four minutes in the world is nearly up, I promise. Um, who knows what phrases you might pick? Yes, you might pick up some Korean phrases, including, oh no, there's a... Well, hopefully we won't need, oh no, um, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. <laughs> um, you love the ranking outfits. Oh yes, where the different um, different levels of military seniority get the different colourful um, uh, kind of flares to the uniform. They're accurate, are they, as well? Wow. So often that's not the case, isn't it? Where it just sort of seems to be made up. Oh, that's marvellous. So it is actually accurate. So, yeah, I suppose apart from Darcy and Elizabeth, what else would we go with? Um, I put you on the spot, haven't I? Um, Mr. Convict says Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I think half of the equation probably would um, would satisfy that. The other half, let's just say Brad Pitt and I, we share very little in common, I think. <laughs> well, he, he had a beard. He did have a beard. <laughs> I also have a beard. There you go. There we go. Sorted. That links me to, I think, a great many people, I suppose. Yeah, it does, actually. Right, here we go. We are nearly here. Right, uh -huh. let's move the... Uh, Oh, Move the designated. <laughs> Falama says Brad Pitt's rubbish at baking. I win. <laughs> I'll take that victory. I will take it with both hands. Here we go. Right. Are you going to test it? We are. We'll take it out. We'll have to do it very carefully because we haven't got any toothpicks. Mm. But. Oh, last time we just used a sharp knife. Yeah, we I mean? used a, the sharp green, actually. Um, the that's the green one gone. It's probably in the wash. No, I've washed it. Here we are. Okay. So we'll use a particularly sharp... Oh, can we not, like, use this one? Because it's got a longer... Yes, that's a good idea. We'll take the purple knife of doom. Um, aha! Here we are, folks. At long last, after many, many hours of toil, an NWKB, Julia, I hope yours looks like this as well. Ooh. Et voila. It looks so good. And I will be honest, it, it smells, smells very good, good as well. <laughs> Right, we're going to leave that on for the second batch. So now we have to time that. Do you do the ons? Oh, yeah. So that then needs 10 minutes. In Wait, the it says at the lowest part. So you like stab into the lowest part of the bread, not like the highest. Yeah, I'll hold it still for you. He says knocking it. Oh, I think I. I mean. It's, to me, that's clean. Shall I feel like I did this wrong? No, no. That to me is clear. 
I'm happy with that. Yeah. There we are, folks. Um, it does. It does look like something, but I won't. <laughs> It looks good once it's out the tin. Yes. It uh, looks more like bread then. The, the, yeah, it looks a little less buttock-like once the whole thing is out. But I promise you, this, if you ever want to try it, we will save the recipes. We will, Is just buttock-like a phrase? I don't know. Um, we will save the recipe and all the videos will be saved. Because all you need to do now, I say all after all of this. No, so you have to leave it to cool in the tin for 10 minutes. And then you can turn it out and then you have to leave it for another hour before you're allowed to cut it. Yeah, because otherwise the whole thing will just kind of collapse. So it's, it's an so, hour and ten minutes. Because it's such a light, light bread. Um, how would we time the other one? Yeah, I've been timing it. Mrs. Al is on the ball. Um, she, <laughs> she's been looking after things. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't tan well, so my so a milky buttock is an accurate description of <laughs> my... <laughs> That wasn't even funny. That and above the word sexy from Sexy Chicken's name as well. I just read the whole thing in one go. And went, okay, um, yeah. <laughs> sexy milky bottom. Um, and it's a milk bread, so there we go. <laughs> um, how far are you guys off, um, N NWKB? How much is left on the cook? You know, I'm just desperate to eat this for anything. I know, I absolutely so. can't. Just going to have a closer look at the... Uh, Colouring. I am ultra happy with that. You're done! Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a three-part marathon stream, but all of those who have baked have done it. Um, does it look... Snake oven mitts. Now, certainly, Falama, thank you ever so much. It was a pleasure seeing your stream as well. We will be sure to see you in the weeks coming. Thank you very, very much indeed. Um, but I think that now is it for us. Um, we'll put photos up. Waffle, hello! Waffle, we will save all three. Um, we've done three videos. Here we are. It has been commented slightly buttock or boob looking, but the, it won't as soon as you get it out of the tin. It's taken nearly five hours. It's taken about five <laughs> hours. Um, but we are here. Uh, yeah, oh, sexy chicken. Do, if you do Ooh, a yeah, live... Do yes. You? Oh, that's a stupendous idea. Do you mind if I borrow it, if we ever uh, do a barbecue? Maybe we could do a barbecue off sexy. If we both have a barbecue at the same time in good weather, we shall do a squad stream or something. I've seen that come up where people use it for compute, you know, for first person shooters. We should, mutual barbecuing. Um, that'd be good fun. Oh yes, please send us a photo in WKB. Yes, please do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you know what? I, I think, yeah, I love that. Mutual barbecuing. I'm so behind that. And we could do it with the Korean um, twist as well. Yeah, we could get the we could go to the Kmart and get like the the pork and stuff that mm. they, they do that they use. That's actually you must tell us when you do it because I shall be there salivating in my chair. Um, <laughs> and then I'm sure the stream will start and I'll salivate even more. You know. So, um, <laughs> um, in fact, you know what? What the heck? We've only got six minutes. Shall we wait just six minutes and turn it until out? Until we so can turn it out. Until if we can you turn want it to, out. Yeah. yeah, just give it six more minutes. Waffle, how are you? We've missed each other. We've missed you, Waffle. Everyone say <laughs> hello to Waffle. He's a marvellous chap from over on Stateside. Um, there's a lot of Valorant gaming, and he's a, he's a genuinely lovely chap. Are you well? Are you are you streaming today? Can the chap see you? What are you doing? That was almost too aggressive at the end. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> you tell me what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness you're great you got I got diamond one in Valorant um, I'm going to assume through my ignorance that that is excellent I don't know what that is I'm assuming <laughs> that that's a very high rank and having seen you shoot I know that you are a, a, a call it a dead eye dick you are a um, I'm not calling you I'm not being uh, pleasant uh, <laughs> Lone Ranger that was it the man with the good shot yes um, how close are we we're very close actually it's all down to viewership now um, so, and once we've got there, um, we are going to do a thank you stream that's all cooking. We're going to do a set menu, um, inspired by everyone who's helped us get there. Um, there so will... you're going to have to make some sexy chicken. Do you know what? The words out of my mouth, there's going to be some sexy chicken. Uh, <laughs> some form. Um, and just as a, a thank you 
to those that have helped us on the way. It's going to be a menu inspired by all of you. And I'm even going so far, I think, to try and work it out based upon people's time zones. Because obviously, like Waffle, you know, you can only tune in at a certain time of day because otherwise it's, you know, the middle of the night for you. So I'm going to work it out. And our set menu is also going to have set times as well. So if you only want to tune in for your bit of the set menu, you can do it. Um, I suppose I'm now going to have to think, what is the sexiest form of chicken that we can produce? What is the best chicken dish that I've ever produced? Oh, you do that for your streams already, Sex? Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, I think that's... I need, should probably think about that more often. Um, we're slightly constrained by the day job, but the weekend we tend to be quite free. Um, and Sunday is a nice time to do something relaxed, like cooking or baking. Um, weirdly enough, a lot of my followers in the... So where are you, Sexy? Are you, where are you based? What time is it where you are? We are three minutes away until I can turn this out, and then the hour-long process, the hour-long wait begins. Um, you're in Utah, in the USA. Ah, so you're on the same kind of time... Is it the same-ish time zones as Waffle would be? I'm trying to think in my head quickly. Um, oh, so it's 10.50 a.m. where you are? Ah, right, 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 right. Because I know Taurus is currently in Canada, waiting to move to Ireland. Um, we've got Waffle and you, Sexy, are both in America. We're over here in the UK. Um, I see, so we're, we're close. Waffle and Sexy are, are nearby each other. Um, and I know there's a couple of good folk here who are from uh, Singapore. So that's a time zone that's, um, that, that's well out, in fact. And um, I think a couple of them watch on catch-up. They're terribly welcome. Um, so, you, so Sexy does his late-night streams for you, so follows tuning in the morning. Ah, yes, that makes sense. so ready to turn this out. I can't though, I have to wait for the full 10 minutes. The thing is though, you want to turn it out and then you still can't eat it. I know. And night owls for anyone wake on this. Well there are going to be some nights I think my day job might have me um, uh, up in the middle of the night so I shall be looking for on stream for background uh, people to watch and keep me awake and keep me going. No, NWKB, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. It's obviously, it's a, it's a long haul, um, um, but I do promise when you get to eat it, this is worth it. And what's, I think, really impressive, and if anyone wants to try this, I've done a lot of bread baking, and then I had quite a, a time away from baking and came back to it again. Um, this has been about the most foolproof bread recipe um, I've ever come across. It is totally forgiving to any number of mistakes forgetting to do bits and pieces and as a as a because baking is terribly wayward and it can just sometimes take a life of its own this behaves no matter what so far i've found um I, whether or not it's any good for you health what i don't think it's a health snack i don't think it's one of those but my goodness do you want to keep eating it it's um, it's food for the soul. You're quite right. If you can't occasionally nourish the soul, I mean, you can tell from the um, from the width. I do a terribly large amount of nourishing for the soul. My soul is very much replete and happy these days, um, <laughs> even if possibly my cholesterol levels aren't. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh goodness gracious me! Oh, marvellous. So, I think we're nearly there when we can turn this out, and then that will be it for us for today. Um, but what a pleasure it's been, and a colossal thank you to absolutely everyone who has either dropped in just to lurk. I know Convict has literally only come in just to, just to help us out, um, and all of our, our regular friends, our new friends, um, you're all superb. Thank you very, very much indeed. Um, we're not quite gone yet. We've got another 22 seconds. And what about the other one that's got to go in? Um, uh, that's still got uh, 19 minutes. 19 minutes. But right. that's, I put it, I timed it for the, I can't remember if I timed it for 30 or 40, whatever. Well, it's doing quite nicely. It needs a bit longer, but it's got a bit colder now that we're getting. Well, that's quite fine. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So I'm going to put this timer back on for an hour because that's now how long we've got to leave it. 
Now let's turn this from a slightly boob-shaped loaf into what it ought to be. So gently does it. I'm going to just turn. Don't they just tore it? <laughs> Don't fail oh, yeah, me at the yeah, last. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's quite hot on the arm. Don't burn yourself. Here we go. Now, here's a tip for anyone that wants to do this, because I will put all of these videos onto YouTube if anyone wants to give this a go at their own pace. Get yourself either a trivet, which is what I'm holding here underneath, or an actual, um, cooling, or an actual cooling, cooling rack, because what it does is it lets the air get to the bottom so you don't end up getting a really soggy base to your loaf. Uh, yes, it stopped looking vaguely rude. It's a proper loaf. There we go. I am have to say, the next hour is going to be tortuous. It will be a long, long hour, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> so, there we are, ladies, gents, friends, old and new. Um, thank you very, very much to everyone who's been here all day, or even just for five minutes, or even for an hour. You, you, you are all colossally appreciated. It cannot be um, stressed enough. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all. Um, I, what are we going to do this week? I don't know. There might be hard to oh, We could do the tofu that you want to do. Oh, yes. There's going to possibly be... Um, in fact, no, I would like to do that. Let's do that. We're going to do tofu in a spicy ketchup. Um, we're going to do definitely some more Overcooked, the computer game. We're going to buy Overcooked 2 because we saw NWKB playing it. And it looked hilarious. Um, and I'm utterly dying to make kimchi. Um, it's been too long. Um, I've not been able to get Napa cabbage. So we're going to adapt, improvise, and that is coming very, very soon indeed. Um, but until then, um, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you, uh, Candyman. Thank you, Waffle. Thank you, Sexy. Uh, thank you, Sexy. <laughs> Don't worry, Sexy. All of the... Oh, thank you very, very much. We will put all the pictures from today on there. There's not been many yet because we've been shuttling between doing this and the washing up and coming back and but we'll definitely put some up mrs al's going to put her feet up and i'm going to get her dinner yes um a whole host of things um but until then as i say just the biggest thank you to you all is anyone out of curiosity about to stream themselves and would like a little raid or a little host or is there anyone that we know of that might appreciate that um I'd ha i can run up to my computer upstairs and send us all over there if there's anyone that would would like, is it passing it on as it were? Is there anyone that would uh, appreciate um, our assistance and our viewership? Mrs. Al here has given me a delightful look because she's uh, hoping I can now speed up time and that this <laughs> will just be quicker. Um, <laughs> no one comes to mind for you, Waffle. Oh, hang on, I can tell you what though. The next one, I'll show you before we go. Well, it's coming one. along nicely. I will confess, yes. actually, I'm not sure what that picture signifies. Um, I shall peer close to my computer. Some cool chicken. Some cool chicken. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to oh, so it is. That is a very gangster-like chicken. <laughs> That's marvellous. Like thug life chicken. Yeah, that, oh, yes, I've heard of thug life. Um, oh sorry. God, stop. He's back from the 1800s. <laughs> right, ladies and gents, in that case, if no one is springing to mind, I will say, again, thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure making this. NWKB, I'm very, very proud of you indeed, both of you, for mm. managing uh, to do that. If we see any of you going live whilst we're sat putting our feet up, we will be sure to host you. Um, but anyone else wants to shout, do so now. I will not ask you to forever hold your peace. Mrs. Owl is leaning towards the milk bread. <laughs> proud of you both. Very, very well done indeed. Um... In that case, I will say, take care, everyone. Have a marvellous rest of your Sunday. We will see you in the week. There's Mrs. Al's hand. Toodaloo from us both. Thank you all. Bye, Bye for now.